to synthetic insulated lightweight jackets. Both retails at 220 pounds. Both would work as a mid layer or a standalone piece. So how different are they? Which one will fit for your purpose? Also, have you noticed the difference in length? If not, stay tuned till the end. Right guys, let's have a look at the face fabric of these two jackets. Atom LT hoodie comes with 20 denier nylon tiono fabric it is 100% nylon. It is breathable and got stretchy side panels for more breathability. The Tiona 20 denier shell feels very soft to touch. The jacket tries to insulate and breathe at the same time, but I don't think these side panels ventilate enough when you are sweating and make you cold sometimes by cold air getting through. Atom has a slightly denser fabric and doesn't breathe well. However, the Proton designed to be very breathable and durable with comparing to the Atom. Proton face fabric is 40 years air 20. Material composition is 84% nylon and 16% elastane. Proton LT is a versatile mid layer and a standalone piece that has been designed for high output activities. It is highly breathable. Atom LT face fabric Tiono 20 offers a breathability but Proton face fabric offers a high breathability. However, Atom LT is more wind resistant than Proton LT hoodie. Breathability is a key factor on Proton LT hoodie. If you are wearing the both jackets, you can feel more wind coming through on the Proton jacket with comparing to the Atom. I think the main difference between Proton LT and Atom LT is that the amount of insulation that being used. Proton LT uses 80 grams per square meter co-loft compact for the insulation. On the other hand, Atom LT uses 60 grams per square meter co-loft compact for the insulation. This change makes different to the jackets formed. Therefore, Proton LT is more warmer than the Atom LT hoodie. Synthetic insulation is measured in grams per square meter. Normally, 50 to 100 grams of insulation is a good choice for spring or autumn jackets or as a mid layer. On the other hand, high insulation from 100 grams to 200 grams of insulation jackets are ideal for colder weathers. If you need a jacket mostly for colder days, I think the Proton LT hoodie would be a good choice for you. If not, most days are fairly warm, like spring sunny days but still you need a jacket in the morning when coming to work, I think the Atom LT would be great. When it comes to the durability of these two jackets, I would say Proton LT is better than the Atom LT. According to Arcturix, this Fortius Air 20 face fabric is hard wearing and durable than everything of the same type. Proton LT hoodie is abrasion resistant, so you won't get any piling on your shoulders by backpack straps or any other hard surfaces. On the other hand, Atom Tuna face fabric somewhat durable but Proton excels the Atom. Both fabrics comes with durable water repellent finish and they are highly water resistant. Could fend off a light rain for 10 to 15 minutes for sure. Features wise, there isn't much difference on these two jackets. Both jackets comes with stretch knit cuffs. These elasticated cuffs help to retain body heat and you find a dual hem adjusters at the hem. By tightening, you can stop air getting through. On these two jackets, you get two hand pockets. Proton LT hand pockets are insulated. Both jackets comes with insulated hood with adjustable hood draw cords. However, the Proton LT hoodie is helmet compatible. Proton and Atom jackets are comes with no slip zip at front. Also, you get the dual back flaps on main zipper on the Proton hoodie to prevent wind penetration. So guys, now let's have a look how these two jackets fits. Both jackets comes with a trimmer fit. Stay close to your body through the chest, waist, hip and thigh areas. Not bulky or extra space at all. Easy for movements. I would say the Proton LT comes slightly trimmer than the Atom. The Proton is more fitted. Now let's have a look some of the dimensions. I got the Atom LT in size large and armpit to armpit measures 24 inches. But I got the Proton LT in size medium and it measures 22 inches. 
as it is more fitted but keep in mind I got this Protein LT one size down. Sleeve length wise there isn't much difference on these jackets, however the sleeve width do come slightly narrow, measuring 9 inches. When it comes to the length, both jackets comes with drop back hem. Both Proton and Atom, bottom of the back collar to hem measures 29 inches, however the Proton slightly come shorter at the front, measuring 27 inches from shoulder to hem. Atom measures 29 inches at the front. Having said that, Atom hem rises when I raise my arms, but the Proton hem stays down thanks to better articulation elbows. So keep in mind the Proton comes slightly shorter at front, about 2 inches. I would say if you want to wear these both hoodies with just a base layer on, in those mild temperatures, stay to your true to size. But if you need additional layering, I mean thick fleece like or a sweater, you better go one size up. Right guys, that's my comparison on Arcturix Atom LT and Proton LT hoodies. I have pointed out the materials, insulation, features and the sizing on these two hoodies. Now it's up to you guys to choose your right jacket for your purpose. So your jacket would last long for sure. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.